Hello and welcome to the Resin Rockers 2 to 1 Deep Pour Resin Tutorial. Be sure you have a digital scale that measures by grams. The very first and most important step is to bathe your resin in warm water. You want to bathe each bottle, A and B, in cups of warm water for at least 15 minutes before you start the measuring process. This will warm up the resin and make it a lot easier to mix and allow those bubbles to rise to the top and pop on their own. Remove the resin and the hardener from the water and make sure to thoroughly dry each bottle with a towel so that you don't drip any water into your resin so you don't contaminate it. Now we'll start our measuring process. Put your cup on your scale and make sure that you tear it to zero. It's important to make sure that you are measuring it to the gram as close as possible. So once you have it to zero, you're going to take your hardener, which is part B, and we are going to go up to 50 grams. So this is 50.7. So once you have it, you're going to tear out your scale, grab the resin, and you're going to add resin, which is part A. And just remember, you're going to add twice as much resin as you do hardener. So we're gonna go up to about 101 here. Now, when it comes to stirring, one of the most important things to remember is not to use a wooden stick. Wooden sticks can be dirty, porous, they're going to add bubbles to your resin. Make sure you're using a reusable stick, such as the one that comes in your kit, or something like a silicone stick. Now we're gonna start our stirring process. You'll notice that it is a cloudy, grayish mixture when you first start stirring it. There's not really too much of a rhyme or reason. If you want to stir in the same direction, sometimes that can help with the cloudiness. It makes it clear up a lot faster. But the most important thing throughout this process is to make sure that you are scraping the sides as you go to make sure that the resin and the hardener are mixed thoroughly. Now you're going to want to transfer this resin into a clean, unused cup. This ensures that there isn't any resin or hardener that hasn't been mixed fully around the edges of the cup or stuck within the ridges. We're going to give it one last thorough stir in the new cup and then we'll let it rest. We wanna let it rest for about three to five minutes here. That will give it enough time for all those bubbles to rise to the top and pop on their own. As you can see, after about five minutes, all of those bubbles have cleared up. It is crystal clear and ready for you to pour into your mold. If you're pouring into a mold that has a lot of deep crevices, it's important to pour very slowly. This resin is self-leveling, so it will get into those small crevices with no problem. You just have to pour slow. Don't forget to protect your piece from dust and dirt while it cures and make sure you let it cure for at least 48 hours before touching it. The end results are crystal clear, gorgeous, glass-like resin. You cannot get a better result than this. You guys are going to love this. If you have questions, email help at resinrockers.com and subscribe and like for more.